Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by ASPLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created a function that I call fancy text, which takes a string and makes one character in that string black. Why? Purely aesthetic reasons. I was just having fun with my website, but it's a cool function. And then I'm going to show you how I used both Bard from Google and ChatGPT to create a function that instead of making that character black would just slightly darken the color. Again, why? I don't know, just messing around, but it's really cool. And you'll see which one is the winner of today's coding challenge. Now, even if you don't program an ASP or have an ASP website, this is still a cool visual basic lesson. So I thought about making it a VB thing, but that's ASP because I did it on my website. So you get the point. Okay, if you've been to my website in the last year or so, you may have noticed if you go to a page that, and some people have caught me on this without me ever saying anything, that one letter is usually darker color. It's usually black. All right, if you go to any, you know, any one of my articles on my site or any course page, okay, there you go right there. I, I, that's just me trying to be artistic. I'm just, I don't know, I'm being stupid, whatever. But I just thought it'd be nice. Actually, I thought it'd be cool to do something like that, but that's a little too obtrusive. Okay, that's, a, that's like too in your face. That's too, too artsy-fartsy for me. But I always thought that it just kind of looked neat. But uh, Alex is releasing uh, a new course on Rubber Duck, which is a VBA program. And his is yellow. And the yellow with the black there just looks, that's, that's just too much contrast. So I thought, well... How about I take my fancy text code and write it so that instead of going black, it just makes it subtly a little darker. Like here's the final product. Here's what I got there. That's a little bit lighter shade of, of red for access and for and green, right? And it looks much better with the yellow. Okay. Now I've had the classic fancy text in the code vault for a while. I think I briefly mentioned it in a video a while back, about six months ago. Originally, it did that. There's the code. Gold members, you can find it in the uh, code vault if you search for fancy, like I did, just search for fancy. Fancy, right? All right, this one swapped the foreground and background colors. All right, basically, it just generates a random number, and then um, it just, it, it, a random number from one to the size of the string, and then it just replaces that particular one. It can be a different character each time. That's the whole point of it. Then I thought that was too dramatic, right? So then I swapped it to black. Okay, so now I'm thinking to myself, self, to make it so that this guy is just slightly darker in color than the surrounding color, um, you have to break the value up into its constituent parts because the first two characters represent red, then the next two are green, then the next two are blue, then you gotta convert that to an integer or long, then you gotta, uh, drop that value down a bit, then convert it back to hex. And I know how to do all of that, but I didn't feel like looking up the code, okay? So what I decided to do was challenge my good friends, the AI bots, right? Both Bard and ChatGPT I tried. And I started with Bard. All right, so I said to Bard, I said, I need a function in VB script, which is what classic ASP is written in for classic ASP. Take a hex color and make it a slightly darker color, okay? And then I said, sure. Here's a function for VB script, classic XP, blah, 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 right? And there's the code. It looks pretty good at first sight. All right, but then I realized that there's a couple of issues with it. First, classic ASP doesn't support by ref and by val. Those are visual basic commands, all right? And so I said, classic ASP doesn't support by val. And he said, oh, you're correct. Classic ASP does not support by val, but it'll still work if you remove by val. Okay, not a problem. So then I removed that, and then I realized, all right, it also doesn't support data typing in the parameters and or in a dim statement, which I know. So everything is a variant, but you you can't tell it that either. All right. So then I said, nope, because it tries to tell me declare it as a variant. I said, nope, classic ASP doesn't support declaring a variable as a type. You can't declare something as long or as string or whatever in classic ASP VB script. It's just not. You, you just leave this off. You declare your variables and they're all variants by default. So Bart apologized. I apologize for the two previous versions. You're correct. Class ASP does not support declaring variables as types. All right, fine. So I removed all that. 
then I discovered another problem. If you look at the code, it's looking for hex color dot substring. All right, that's a JavaScript function. That's how you do it in JavaScript. In VB or in ASP, you have to use the mid function, left, right, and mid functions, which I then told to Bard. I said, classic ASP doesn't support substring. And at that point, Bard gave up on me and says, look, <laughs> it looks like you might want my help with coding, but I'm not trained to do that yet. I can do things like summarize long text, write an email, or even make a poem. Is there something else you'd like to try? So Bard gave up after like four attempts of me saying, no, that's not quite right. All right. But it's it's getting there. It's getting there. I can tell it's getting there. And I love I love me some Google, but you got a little bit of work to do on Bard. So then I went over to my good buddy, chat GPT. All right. See, same thing. Need a function of JavaScript. It knocked it out of the park the first time. This code works perfectly. All right. And it even gave me what to do. Okay, it darkens it by, by 20%, drops it down by 0.8. I'll, I'm going to walk you through the code in just a minute to explain what's going on here. All right, then I fed it what I have, and I said, this line is giving me an error. I didn't tell it what the error was. I just wanted to see if it could figure it out. And it said, if you're getting an error on that line, it's likely because hex color parameter is not a valid hex color value. And you know what? It's not because in my code, I was sending it the hex value with the pound symbol in front of it. So all I had to do was remove that and it worked. But what I did was, because I know I got code all over my website that calls fancy text, I, I just added this line to the dark and hex color function that it wrote for me. And this just says, if I do send you a hex color where the left character is that, then just remove it by saying hex color equals right hex color comma six. Grab those six right uh, characters. And so that's it. This was basically written just by chat GPT. All right, it says you're gonna convert the hex color to RGB values, all right? We got R, G, and B. It's gonna be the long of, take mid hex color one, two, so that's the left two characters, the middle two characters, the right two characters, all right? Put an at H in front of them so you get hex values and then convert that to a long integer. Now we got a number representing each one of those, okay? Then take that number and multiply it by 0 0.8, all right? When you bring the values down closer to zero, they get darker. And when you bring them up closer to F, right, it's, it's, it's zero through nine, then A, B, C, D, E, F, it's hex, right? If you bring those values down by 0.8, then it'll make it darker, right? Each one of those, and zero is the darkest. So if you send it, if you send it black, you're just gonna get black back. You can't get darker than black, okay? Then we take these values and convert them back into a string, right? The right two, right? The right two of that, the right two of that. And that's how you basically make a darker version of the color that you send into it. And of course, then there's fancy text, which basically says, give me uh, L, R, and F. L is the length of the string. And this line says, while R is gonna be a random number, right? Started at one, okay? And it's gonna say, while R is one or R is L. And what that means is I don't wanna change the first character or the last character of the string. Why? I don't know, just aesthetic reasons. I guess we could get rid of the R equals one, but then this won't run. So you could set R equals L at the beginning if you want. If you want that first character to, to change. Um, I always wanted it to be one of the characters in the middle. Or if mid S R one equals a space, obviously don't change the foreground color of a space character. That would just be meaningless, right? So it's gonna loop until it finds an inner character basically, right? R equals, this is a random number. All right, and then when you're done, build a string out of it. Right, the left of that string, the mid is going to be that one character that you picked, okay, and that's going to be color two, which is your fancy darkened color, and then the end of the string here, and that's it. And then to use it in your code, you just do that. You send it a, a string, and then the color that you want as your base color, and then this, this guy will pick a random character in the middle of it, and then darken hex color will make it darker, and that's that. But yeah, kudos to ChatGPT for coming up with near perfect code. Well, no, it's its code was perfect. It was me that sent it something wrong on the first shot. So there you go. Oh, and for my access nerds out there, this will work fine in access too if you want to do the same thing with a value from a, um, a text box that's using rich text. You can do the same thing with hex codes. If you guys really want to see it, let me know. I'll make a future tip video out of it. And the result with Alex's rubber duck looks like that. See, nice little subtle change. It's not quite the black, it's just a little darker. I think it looks really nice. Alex's rubber duck course isn't ready yet, but as soon as it is, I will make sure to post a note.
you want to check it out. So that's it. That's your fast tip for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper. And if you want to see more ASP videos, make sure you post a comment down below. All right, thanks. We'll see you next time. Gold members, you will find the code for all of this in the code vault. I'll put a link down below on my website. <laughs> thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more ASP, visit my website at ASPLearningZone.com and watch my free 90-minute ASP 101 class. It will teach you everything you need to know to get your website up and running with ASP. And after that, I've got lots more advanced topics, including connecting your website to a database. And of course, I've got lots of additional lessons on all kinds of topics, including my personal specialty, Microsoft Access, but also Word, Windows, Excel, and lots more. ComputerLearningZone.com If you're watching this video on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click on the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have down below. I try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more ASP, visit my website at ASPLearningZone.com and watch my free 90-minute ASP 101 class. It will teach you everything you need to know to get your website up and running with ASP. And after that, I've got lots more advanced topics, including connecting your website to a database. And of course, I've got lots of additional lessons on all kinds of topics, including my personal specialty, Microsoft Access, but also Word, Windows, Excel, and lots more. ComputerLearningZone.com If you're watching this video on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click on the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have down below. I try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can.